Hi everyone! So to start we're going to talk about the calendar and weather packet chart. This is a staple in most preschool classrooms, but it's also a great thing to have at home, especially during this time where your kids might be missing out on circle time at school. So the calendar and weather chart teaches two great concepts that kids can learn how to track over time and will be useful as they continue to grow up. So you can see at the very top I listed the month, April, and I listed the year, 2020. Even though those things might not change every day, it's a good idea to review them so that they can begin learning the vocabulary of month and year. You can see across the top we have listed the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Some schools sing them out loud so that kids start to remember the order of the days of the week, or you can just practice saying them. As you can see, the dates that have passed I've turned to black, and the dates that are to come, including today, I have on red. So these are all double-sided. The chart also comes with inserts such as Earth Day and Easter. There are some birthday presents if you have a birthday going on so that you can recognize and celebrate those special days during the month. There's also vocabulary that you can work on with your child such as today, yesterday, tomorrow, and season. So right now I have the picture that shows that we are in spring. It has some rain, and then on the back it also says spring. I pulled these three for today's weather. It's windy, it's sunny, and there's a few clouds in the sky. Discuss with your child each day how the weather might change. Have them look out around the same time every day and, and say out loud that today is sunny. You can also talk about patterns of weather such as it usually snows in the winter and it gets warmer in the summer. While you're at home with your child, if you ever turn on the morning news, listen to the weather together when the weather report comes on. Listen to the terms that the meteorologist might say, such as the temperature, the wind. For older kids, you might want to start a journal where they can track the changes in the weather. Have them write down every day in the month and what the weather was like that day, and see if they can find patterns. For older kids, Learning Resources also has this weather center. It has three different dials. This one is a thermometer, this one is a barometer, and this one is a hygrometer. The thermometer measures the temperature, the barometer measures the pressure, and the hygrometer measures the humidity. So this is another thing that kids can track as they read the dial and notice that it says it is 71 degrees in here. These also pop out and come with little stands. So if you want to place them in a convenient spot around your house, such as near a window, you can set that up right there. Weather is something you can talk about when you're going on a walk, whether you're watching TV, or whether you're outside playing. The more children become familiar with that vocabulary, the more likely they are to retain it. On the Learning Resources website, they also have an activity book called Learn About Science that includes eight at-home experiments, such as what's that smell, color changing celery, bubbling volcano, lava lamp, rainbow ice, freeze up fun, gummy bear grow, tie dye milk, and shiny pennies. Thanks for checking out these weather activities. Head over to the Learning Resources website where you can find even more.